Hello lovely. so I've been getting a lot of questions on how to use the gummy jelly. Some people have said that they can't get their gems to stay on or stick. So I am going to show you guys how to use it. When I first bought this, I did not know how to use it either. So let's get to it. Um, first I have, this is a rose gold colored acrylic that I made and it's super pretty. I don't know if you guys can see how pretty that is. And then I added this little rose here and it's like a um, like a maroonish color with like gold specks in it. It's super pretty. I also made that. I'll show you guys. This is the rose gold here. And then where did my maroon go? This is the maroon that I made. So I have buffed it already and put it um I'm just gonna put some random alloys and I'm gonna use I'm not gonna use any of my good stones just because this I'm only doing this for um, purposes for you guys to see how it works so I'm just gonna use some of my other stuff here now what you want to do is take some of this you want to put a good amount if you're using alloys say like I don't know, can you guys see that that's a good amount there and what you want to do I'm gonna add the bow up here in the corner so I'm gonna put more there and then I'm just going to kind of spread it out over the nail and the little bit that I'm spreading out over the nail will be good enough to hold the little rhinestones on And this stuff is super thick and more gummy like. I don't know if you guys can see like the strings coming off. There you go. So it's like builder gel, but not. It's more thicker than builder gel. Okay. So once you got that on there, you want to take your shiny no white top gel and you are going to spread that out over the top. And this will make sure like. If I were to do this like on a plain color, it would take out all the lines and stuff from the, it would it basically smooth it out. So you want to take this, do not cure the gum jelly or this yet. You want to put all your rhinestones or your alloys on first. Okay. Now I'm going to take this bow here and I'm just going to set that right on top here push it down and it will not move you can figure out how you want to place your um, rhinestones or your alloys however you want to and it doesn't dry until you cure it so here's my little lifting needle thing here let's see I'm just going to take some of these Rhinestones here. Okay. I'm just going to randomly place these. Oh, I don't know if you could see that very well. Oh, let's try a different color. Let's try black. I'm just going to place some black ones all over. I need to get me a better rhinestone picker up or thingy. So I just randomly placed rhinestones all over and depending on the lamp that you have, you are going to want to cure this 
for a minute in a CCFL LED UV lamp or if you have just a UV lamp it'll be two minutes or if you just have a LED lamp it'll be one and a half minutes. So I'm going to cure this really quick and I will be back. Okay, now that that is cured, I'll show you they do not move. They are stuck on there really tightly. And if you want to, you can go back over it with the shiny no white top coat to make it more sparkly. I'll just do it even though I have those rhinestones on there. Normally you wouldn't do this over top your rhinestones because they will lose their shininess, but I am only doing it for video purposes. So you guys can basically get the idea of how to use it. And then this you only need in a, a CCFL LED UV lamp, you would only need to cure the shiny top coat for 30 seconds. But I just wanted to show you guys that. I hope that this video helps some of you and some of your questions on how to use the gummy jelly. And it is all cured and that is it for this video. I will leave my email in the description box or if you have any questions you can comment in the comment section and I will do my best to try to get back to you. So here's the final results. It is on there good. My camera doesn't want to pick it up because it's too sparkly. But they are on there. Can't move it. Like it's moving, but see, like I'm pulling and it's not coming off. These are like basically stuck on there. So that is my tutorial on how to use the gummy gel, and thanks for watching.